Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 16th of 2020. Well, it is titled NGC 2392 double shelled planetary nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. And this is what happens at the end of the life of a star much like our own sun. When a star reaches the end of its life, it's used up all of the fuel in its center. And the core collapses down into what we call a white dwarf star, which still contains most of the mass of the star, but is about the size of the Earth. And you can see the white dwarf star here at the center. The outer layers have expanded outward and the star was a red giant or a red super giant star. And then those layers end up being not being held tightly enough and instabilities can push them off into space. And here we see a, an example of that with the white dwarf star at the center and an outer shell of material that had been pushed out earlier and then a more recent expulsion of material closer in. So a planetary nebula can occur in multiple phases where part of the shell is pushed off earlier. And then in another instability later on, the remaining portion of it is uh, pushed outward. Now planetary nebulae, as I said, this is what the sun will do at the end of its life. And they can be very complex. So you can also look at some of the other images. And what we've seen, for example, with the ring nebula is what appears to be a much more simple version of this where there may be uh, everything occurred mostly at once where there were not multiple layers, and that everything was pushed off all at one time. We can also see uh, very uh, different sections such as the butterfly nebula, where it is not put off pushed off uniformly in all directions, but pushed off preferentially along certain axes. So here there's one area where very little material is pushed out. And another one other axis where all the material is heading outward. And finally, even more complicated is what's known as the cat's eye nebula. That is again, you can see the white dwarf star at the center. But you have multiple layers going on here. So things have been happening over a very long period of time. So what it really tells us is that planetary nebulae are very complex things. And the exact way that they form will depend on the situation around them. So are they forming in a system that has more than one star? Or is there a lot of dust and material involved that will affect the way the planetary nebulae will form? So here we get to see one nice image of the uh, double shelled planetary nebula showing us that it certainly can happen in two distinct phases because we can see one distinct phase on the outside and then a gap and then the next phase inside. So not all occurring at once as it looked like with some of the other nebulae that we saw. So what will our sun look like at the end of its life? Well, it could look like one of these or it might look like something completely different. We know we have to wait about 6 billion years or so for the sun to use up its fuel and go through its later stages of evolution to be able to ever find out. So that was our picture of the day for February the 16th of 2020. It was titled NGC 2392 double shelled planetary nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be fade to red. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.